Now, the second model that we want to look at is EOQ without instantaneous receipt. And this is called production run model. And uh, this is assuming that sometimes, you know, in your business, you cannot receive your inventory instantaneously. It takes uh, time. And uh, at the time, we have to use a different model. And that's, that is called the production run model. And uh, in this model, uh, when inventory accumulates over time, the instantaneous receipt assumption does not apply that we used for EOQ model. And uh, the first thing that we have to consider is daily demand rate must be taken into account because we cannot receive this uh, inventory instantaneously. And uh, this is uh, uh, also related to production and that's why it is called the production run model. And if you look at this graph, um, we have, uh, it, it takes time for you to receive uh, anything and uh, uh, therefore we have to consider this time dimension and because of that, depending on the daily uh, demand, it, uh, uh, the slope is not, not uh, a horizon uh, vertical, but uh, it has slope like this uh, because it takes time for you to receive the order and uh, um, that's why it, it looks like this. Uh, in this case, we have to use a uh, different formula and that uh, is this one. Annual holding cost is Q over 2 times 1 minus D over P times CH. And here, um, uh, D is daily demand, P is daily production, and CH is carrying cost. And the Q is EOQ, uh, of course, right? And annual set of cost is D over Q times CS, right? So it is the same. What is changing is the holding cost is affected by daily demand and, and daily production. Uh, if you set them equal and solve for Q, then you get uh, EOQ, uh, which is Q star, which is square root of 2DC. Uh, divided by CH times 1 minus D over P. So everything is the same except for this part 1 minus D over P is uh, added to regular EOQ model. That's how we solve it. So let's uh, take an example of brown manufacturing. And uh, uh, brown manufacturing produces commercial refrigeration units in batches. And it's a daily, uh, it's an annual demand is 10,000 units and set of cost is $100 and carrying cost is 50 cents and daily production rate is 80 units uh, uh, per day and uh, daily demand rate is 60 units per day. Uh, so two questions are how many units should Brown produce in each, each batch? What is the EOQ model, EOQ that we should be producing? How long should the production part of the cycle last? So uh, these two questions we want to answer. And uh, here is the um, Q star, which is square root of 2DC over C times 1 minus D over P. Plug these numbers in D, 10,000, 10, and uh, uh, set of costs 100, and uh, CH is uh, 50 cents, and then 1 minus uh, daily um, demand over daily production, so 60 over 80, and if you solve them, then you will get uh, 4,000 units. And uh, so we answer the first question, how many units should Brown produce in each batch, which is 4,000 units according to the data. Uh, the second thing is how long should the production part of the cycle last? And production cycle is uh, EOQ divided by the daily uh, production. And we know that uh, EOQ is 4,000 units and divided by daily production 80 gives you 50 days. So 50 days of the production part uh, cycle. 